guys. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Building Empires Network. Uh, today we have a special guest, uh, Miss Erica Saba, the marketing queen, uh, and Christina Franco as well. Hey guys. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk to Erica, uh, you know, about how she started and, you know, any obstacles that she had in the middle and, you know, where she at now. So uh, Erica, you tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me. Um, I, I absolutely love my story. I'll be honest with you. It is my favorite story to tell. <laughs> um, but I used to be a teacher. I don't know yeah, if you yeah. knew this. No. I used to be a first grade teacher. Wow. In fact, I went to uh, A&M mm -hmm. and I studied education. I thought I was going to be a teacher Forever. in the elementary classroom <laughs> for the rest of my life. And um, I graduated in 2010, immediately got a job as a first grade teacher in uh, a school in Richmond, Texas, yeah. where I grew up. Mm -hmm. And I taught there for a few years. And long story short, I decided to take a leap of faith. And I decided to spend my summer interviewing because my goal was actually to become a principal. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yes, I wanted to. I wanted to go down that route. And my principal at the time had approached me about pursuing that principal life. And mm -hmm. so she said, hey, you know, you're going to have to go back to school, get mm -hmm. your master's. And you have to have, I think it's like 160 mentor hours. And wow, she's like, I'll wow. mentor you from someone in administration. Yeah, it's wow. this whole thing. Mm -hmm. And I started talking to my dad about it, who is also a business owner, entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And he was like, well... I think this is all wonderful. I think that you have the personality, the drive, the motivation, the communication for it. But know that when you start um, venturing towards becoming a principal, mm -hmm. it's very competitive. When you're mm -hmm. a teacher, there's like six teacher, 60, 70, 80 teachers per camp campus. Right. Principals, it's one per campus. Mm -hmm. So he was like, you need to go and start practicing interviewing over the summers. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, yeah, I could do that. So I waited until the very last minute and was like, okay, fine. I'm done enjoying my summer. School's about to pick back up. Let me go and practice right. in my interview skills. So I went to, um, I went on an interview with a mortgage company mm -hmm. here in Houston mm -hmm. and I got offered the job two days later. And again, I was only going to practice yeah. interviews. And for some reason, so they told you go practice interviews. Yeah, like go, just go, go interview? practice interviewing because wow. he's like in the real world, mm -hmm. you don't just go to an interview and get the job. Right. Like, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's go brush up on your interview yeah. skills and handle rejection. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> the rejection. Yeah. yeah. I'm like okay, and yet here we are. So um, anyway, I went to get this. I, I ended up getting offered the job. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I don't know what it was in me, but the stars were aligning and I'm like, I need to, I need to do this. Yeah. And I got hired on to do business development for this mm -hmm. little tiny mortgage company. Mm -hmm. And I had nothing to offer, but a smile and a good attitude. I didn't know what I was doing, Sometimes but I'm like, you know, yeah. I, can, yeah. I, I can do this. Yeah. Go drop off cookies and yeah. <laughs> shake hands and yeah. do my little twirls here and there. I'm like, I got this. I can yeah. do it. Right. Well, about three months in, um, I was ready to quit. I could not stand it. Really? Yo, oh, I hated it. Because when you go from teaching first graders who mm -hmm. give you hugs every day and tell you how much they love you and yeah. they draw pictures of you yeah. guys and yeah. love letters and all that stuff. To, to adults outside, that know it all. <laughs> to outside sales who are like, you are literally wasting my time. Please get out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I could not handle right. the rejection. <laughs> so I went to my boss at the time and I was like, yes. I can't do this, man. Yeah. I cried every day and Aww. he was like, okay, well, hang on just one second. <laughs> Why don't you take over our marketing department? We uh -huh. don't have one. It's non-existent. We've got a Facebook page. I think we have a couple emails that we've sent out. Right. We've got a list, but we don't do anything with it. Why don't you take over marketing? And I'm like, I don't know a damn thing about marketing. <laughs> I mean, I had I to, love it. I had to <laughs> Google, like, what is marketing? Because I did not, right. I went to school to be a teacher. Yeah. I can teach a child how to write a persuasive paper, a narrative. <laughs> I cannot, cannot do marketing. Right. But I was like, you know what? I'm smart. I can figure this out. <laughs> I, I got this. So I started researching everything there is to know about marketing, and it was very overwhelming. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. when you go from a sure world is. that has none of that terminology and vocabulary right. and then ex being exposed to that, it was just, it was very overwhelming. It mm -hmm. was very overwhelming. 
But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this because mm -hmm. I have no other choice at this point. My dad was like, just stick it out for a year, Erica, and then you mm -hmm. can go back next year, yeah. go back to teaching. And if anything, this is going to add another la layer of experience right. so that when you do apply to become a principal, mm -hmm. you're like, you know what? I've got my years in the classroom and I also have my years doing this. And right. I think that makes me a little bit more valuable mm -hmm. and I have more to bring to the table. Anyway, I, long story short, we blew up. Yeah. We, it went from awesome. me going to yeah. networking mm -hmm. events and I'm like, yeah, I work for this company. And they're like, who, who is that? I don't know who that <laughs> is. And then within like a year, everybody, they were like, oh yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. people in the industry were like, what did you do? Mm -hmm. What is your marketing secret? Right. Because everything that I was doing, it wasn't pretty at the beginning, but everything I was doing over time, it started to produce the results, which right. was brand awareness, mm -hmm. lead generation. Mm -hmm. We grew so much year over year that we had to hire more loan officers mm -hmm. to handle the amount of lead volume that we were yes. getting. Our loan, our loans increased year over year. Mm -hmm. Our loan amount increased year mm -hmm. over year, opened up another location in Dallas. All the while, I'm just like growing and growing and growing. Right. And honestly, I've I'm like all I all I did was just take action. Yeah, hey, and that's why lit. I hired her. <laughs> <laughs> that is literally all that I did. Right. Mm -hmm. And so all the while, people are just like, "What is this marketing magic? Tell mm -hmm. me everything that you know." Right. And so that's what I did. I started teaching people. I'm like, "Oh, well, I learned to do this and to not do this, right. and I learned this." And so my experience allowed me to fast track as I started teaching other people mm -hmm. what was working and what wasn't. Obviously. Mm -hmm. And then within the company, I just started taking over not only marketing, I was also helping in sales. I was also helping in operations. I took over HR. I was part mm -hmm. of IT management, wow. office management, mm -hmm. became EVP of the company. Which Are you was... looking for a job? <laughs> <laughs> and then I grew, you know, yeah. all the way to almost the top. Right. right. And I, I loved it. Right. I was like, oh, I cannot believe this is happening. It just happened mm -hmm. naturally, organically. And it was, it was amazing. And then I, and then I capped mm -hmm. and then I was, that was it. I yeah. was, I was done. I, I, the next role that I could have taken over would have been CEO, president. Obviously not going to do that. Right, I mean, right. mortgages are cool, but yeah. not that cool. Not that cool. <laughs> so Erica, and so I decided to take another leap of faith. Right. Um, I actually wanted to, I started realizing, man, I'm really good at handling a lot of these right, things. Right. And I'm like, you know what? I want to start my own business. And I got offered to open a franchise for a little uh, a country and Western youth dance program. Mm -hmm. And I was going to open that location here in Houston. That ended up not going over. COVID happened. Right. So then it was like, well, what am I going to do now? Well, I'm really good at teaching, mm -hmm. marketing. Well, there you go. I'm already doing it. Go. So I'm like, might as well be a marketing consultant. Mm -hmm. there you and go. the rest is history. I started my business over about two and a half years ago and wow. I blew up. Yeah. I mean, it's been. I'm well, like one, one thing is amazing. because I remember your face, you know, a happy face, yeah. a presentable person. You don't have to be the best stress, but you have to have that, that um, contagious attitude. You know, you're going to catch it. You know, and people will always remember your smile. I didn't when Andrea, I met her years ago and uh, and it was through Noble. And when Andrea kept telling me about her, I didn't know who she was talking about. I was like, I don't know. She looks familiar. <laughs> and I'm not I will register a face if I liked you. And if I don't, I won't. I'll always be like, what? Like, who when? Like, you know, whatever. But I even told her while she was sitting here, I was digging through my purse. And I was like. I remember you and I gave her her maiden name. She was like, yeah, I was like, <laughs> because it registers How funny. when that person plays a good role in what they're doing and you can see their energy and you feel that energy. And I felt that with you a long time ago. And that was through Noble. And um, and I remembered you. I don't know how many years later. Yeah, because yeah. wow. it's been from Christina all the way. Way, way, way. Oh, wow. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Almost yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically, it's been a long time. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Haven't changed a bit. Same personality. And that's the good thing, because when people don't put up a front and then you see them somewhere else and they're yeah, like, that's, yeah. that's probably <laughs> me. Because <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> her mom thinks I smile all the time and I have a good personality. Other people say, like, that's Jesus. She's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't like you. <laughs> 
<laughs> so go ahead. I'm so sorry. I just had well, to implement that because it's important, you. especially with branding and marketing. People aren't mm -hmm. going to let you in the door right. if you have a, a ho hum attitude That's so or true. if you put on that chameleon suit. They know. Yes. They know. No, I'm very big on energy. Yeah, yeah very she big. Is. Yeah. Well, you know, that's how I, whenever I went to like Noble Mortgage, it was a long time ago. It was like my first, one of my first events. And I remember her and yeah. she was like speaking like, hey, for Noble Mortgage. Yeah. And I remember saying, hey, that she, she really has that really good attitude. And I just remember saying that, but oh, moving well, on. Thank you. But when it comes to marketing and like you were saying, you were branding for Noble Mortgage. I mean, they pick like the perfect person because yeah, you know. have everything you know that you mm -hmm. are their marketing you're the face so it's you know when you brand for yourself that's kind of like hey this is what i remember you for right. you know when i see you this is what i remember you so it's if you're always like the girl with the you know the rs what is it the R rbs rbf <laughs> like that's what people are going to remember you so you know it's like hey you know when you're starting your brand make sure that those are one of the things that i feel like it's one of the biggest things because hey that's who people are when they mm -hmm. see you, that's what they're going to remember. They're gonna you know, remember. and I, I once heard many years ago on a podcast, somebody had talked about your brand. And what he said was, your brand is can be described as if someone were to describe you to someone who's never met you before, mm -hmm. what would they say about you? Oh, God. How would they just, <laughs> and know right. that they're going to not only describe you professionally, right? but they're going to go straight to straight personally, to the all the way yeah. down to what right. you wear. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the one that wears the oh, man. jungle. <laughs> yeah, or whatever. <laughs> the one that no more. always has the earrings on or, or whatever. Right, right. And he was like, however they describe you to somebody that does not know you, that's your brand. Yeah. So be mindful how you show up Mm -hmm. in the physical world and also in the digital world i'm working on it <laughs> i'm yes. under construction <laughs> because you're telling a story <clears throat> you are telling you are sharing and creating and writing the narrative right. about who you are mm -hmm. and how you want to be described so be right. very very careful especially when you're a business owner yeah right? and you're trying to generate revenue whether it's a business owner or a solopreneur you know whatever mm -hmm. you are in sales be mindful of that because right. it tells a story and it makes sure it's the story that you want it to want to be yeah, told. Yeah. Hey, I'm sure they look at my story like, okay, I'm just confused with her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's just like, we don't, you know, we thought this and now it's this. And no. so that's funny. But yes, I do agree. <laughs> I do agree. Yeah. It is. Now, I mean, Erica, what were the things that you worked on, you know, when you were working in Noble Mortgage that got you to where you were at or where you're at now? Well, I was very big on investing in education. Mm -hmm, okay. Anytime there was a seminar, a training, you know, I would ask um, Daryl, the owner of the company, I'm like, hey, I really want to go attend this. And I will say he was so, um, um, he always encouraged mm -hmm. any of my creativity. I'm, right. I want to try this. Great. Go try it. Right. Hey, I want to, I want to look at these. What do, mm -hmm. what do you think about this? Mm -hmm. go, do it. Go whatever and he allowed that room for creativity and that independence mm -hmm. if you will and, and he important. had so much confidence right. in what i wanted to do what i was willing to try what i wanted to learn and i honestly feel like that was a huge reason why i was able to to grow so much right. and what was interesting is like i didn't know anything about marketing but the fact that he was like sounds good like mm -hmm. do whatever you need to do mm -hmm. it it empowered me right. and gave me even more confidence to keep searching and keep trying and keep doing. Cause like I said before, when I first started out, it was not pretty. There was right. a lot of like, Oh my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Or we, that was a couple thousand dollars down the drain. Yeah. Oh man. You know, there was a lot of those and he was yeah. very like, it's okay. It's we're figuring That's, it out. We're figuring it out. Good, yeah. So I honestly, just because of our like business synergy and the way that we, you know, believed in each other and the confidence that we had in each other and our willingness to just try anything and everything that yeah. allowed me to have that success and to find it. But I was, again, yeah. very big on education and mm -hmm. trying to learn 
but I had to because I did not know anything about marketing. Right. I was completely novice. There was no like, yeah, I think I have an idea. Like there was no That's idea. That's awesome. You know? That's awesome. And I like what you just said right now that you said you guys just tried anything, anything yeah. like just. Hey, whatever we could try. And that's mm -hmm. how you learn trial and error. It, right. it really is. It's trial. trial and error is huge, mm -hmm. huge. Mm -hmm. And I just, I love my, my marketing experience because I didn't, yes, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and yes, I watched right. a lot, read a lot of blogs and attended a lot, a lot of seminars, but really, truly my learning came because I took action. Right. right. I that's actually right. implemented what I was learning. I'm mm -hmm. like, obviously there's something here. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how it works yet for me and for my company, but I know it does. Right. And I'm going to keep trying mm -hmm. until I figure that out. Right. That's so. huge. You yeah. know, and I feel like that's a lot of the problems that people are having is that mm -hmm. they're like, they try something, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So they stopped and, you know, they're, they don't know that they have to keep going yeah. because it's all trial and error. Yeah. Yes. You know? I think I a lot of things. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I think a lot of things too is some people, they over YouTube. And they don't take action. They don't take action. And by the time you know it, they're in a conversation, but then they go in their head, they're still thinking. It's not registering because they're watching and they're not practicing. Mm -hmm. So it has to come, it has to flow, you know? Mm -hmm. And if it's not flowing, then it's all stuck here. And then when you're trying to get it out, you're still thinking. Mm -hmm. right. So you'll be like looking at somebody and you're in a daze. I see that a lot. Especially when people come to me and they talk to me and they're like, yeah, I know you from someone. So and I'm like, OK, but you can see their eyes just <laughs> glossy and dazed. And I'm like, are you OK? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just human, bro. Like, it's going to be OK, yeah. you know, and um, and I think just being there was star struck. <laughs> yeah, no, no, girl, hell no. <laughs> no, but the thing is, is that, you know, a lot of people are very firm and I think I'm more, I, I come off on people as very stern and firm all at the same time. But then when you get to know me, I could just be just as silly as a, as a seven-year-old, you know, because I really like to keep it down to earth and however, but I've learned how to differentiate business and friendship and acquaintance. And I had to learn that trial and error. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And you're going to see that when you start growing and branding yourself, you're going to start attracting people. But you also have to understand that what you can track, what you can track can react in a different way. So you have to kind of separate, you know, those apples, you know, because you can get a sour apple, a bad apple, a rotten apple and the great apple. So I think you have to learn and um, and still trust your instincts, because when you're branding, People do start coming out the woodworks and you don't know what's coming. Like, yeah, I remember you from kindergarten. <laughs> hey, yeah, girl. They don't, yeah. I don't want my kindergarten friends. <laughs> you remember me? I was a bully. <laughs> That's That's crazy. Crazy. I was that freaking kid. But, um, but I think still keeping up, you know, your guard, but if you're just, if you're built strong and you're trained at it, then, um, you'll know how to perceive people. Well, and not even trained, willingness to learn to that. To learn yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Willing to adapt, to understand how you're perceived, yes. how you can adapt based on who you're communicating with, based right. on the environment. Like right. You don't have to be skilled at that, but mm -hmm. if you're willing to learn how to do that, yeah. that's what makes you effective and successful. Yeah. I, like, I love that. Yeah. Willing to learn. Willing to because learn. Because nobody knows, like when you start something, you're not going to, hey, I'm going to be the best yeah. at it. You yeah. have to learn to be the best. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. 100%. So, and be willing to learn as well. Mm -hmm. you know? right. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. I love that. I mean, I love the way you present yourself and you explain yourself. Your story is great. And um, you just have like a knack and a flow. You know, Thank you. you have that knack in the flow. You keep your smile. You keep your your eyes aren't glossy. Like what the fuck? <laughs> we just threw her in here. Oh, you're gonna talk to both of us. You know, yeah, it's so like one of those things. Like, like, she's like, okay, what's happening here? <laughs> um, Everybody like, gets this is a surprise <laughs> chair. I know. Everybody. I love it though. Yeah. Hey, I'll, I'm like, I'll talk to anybody. Yeah. What we talk about? We want to challenge you. It's a challenging chair. It's a like, challenging they chair. don't even know what we're asking. It's so like, they here don't. you go. Let's see how you do. Yeah. yeah. And then it just flows. And that's where the natural comes out, mm -hmm. you know, because it's not just all pre rehearsed, premeditated, repeated. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't become a script because that's what we want to know. 
that person, you right. know? Yeah, for sure. And so, no. Authenticity. Yeah. There is, you go. Especially when it comes to branding yourself. You know, I work with a lot of clients that I'm either teaching them how to do marketing mm -hmm. based on my experience, right. based on what I do for my company. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is what you need to do. Here's the fast track. Here are the answers. Right. No fluff. You need to do X, Y, and Z. Or I have some people that are like, I don't want to do it. Just do it for me. Right. <laughs> but regardless, whenever I am working with people on their brand, I'm like, I need you to be you. Mm -hmm. Like I can sit here and be me all day long, but right. they don't want to do business with me. Mm -hmm. They're using you because they like you. They mm -hmm. like the way that you present yourself. Mm -hmm. You are their cup of tea. Right. So be that, be right. real, be authentic, mm -hmm. be genuine, mm -hmm. because that is trending even on social media that's right. what we're wanting to see right, right now right. all the ceos and owners of all these social media platforms mm -hmm. are constantly pushing i want creator original creator right. content being pushed out mm -hmm. and oh by the way mm -hmm. i'm going to make sure the original creator content is on people's news feeds i am going right. to forcefully push it to people's mm -hmm. news feeds because mm -hmm. that's what we want mm -hmm. to see we don't want to see Fake. Right. We don't right. like it. Right. It's that's no longer mm -hmm. accepted and allowed mm -hmm. on social. It's starting to be diminished. Right. We don't like it. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, be authentic, be real, and learn how to do it. Because it is, it's difficult sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, we have that analysis paralysis. Yeah. We've got oh, fear of rejection. <laughs> yeah. What if they're not going to like me? We've got um, what is that phrase where you know that you're very good, but you start to second guess yourself, yeah. and you're like, oh, yeah. uh, what is that phrase? I can't. Uh, anyway. Um, just all these different things that prevent us from doing that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and yet that's the very reason why someone's going to want to be with you. Right. You know, business in, in business. Well, that was one of the thing with us. Like, we're like, Hey, we're going to have to be on camera on live. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not used to, I'm not like one of those girls like, Hey, I'm live now, live now. Yeah. And so, yeah, it was hard at the beginning, you know, it's like, you have all these people watching you and I'm like. At the beginning, I'm just like, oh, my God. And you could see how nervous I was at the beginning. But now I'm starting to get a little bit used yeah. to it. Well, once she has not grabbed the microphone. I know. I'm holding on to my hands She said strike. her brother oh. was going to leave the microphone alone. <laughs> Stop no, I'm glad that you said that because yeah. it does. At any time I'm working with my clients and teaching them how to present themselves and brand themselves on social media, they're always like, it yeah. is. And it's then good. once they finally get over that hump of, mm -hmm. of yeah. doing it, I'm like, did you get any um, hate mail? You have well, anybody you know, say you excuse have me people but, to criticize you, yeah. and that's okay. But mm -hmm. you, but you're not going to see it. No. Yeah. They're, they're not going to sit there and comment on your yeah. stuff. And as long and as long as you're surrounding yourself with positive yeah. energy people, mm -hmm. they're going to be like, "You go, girl. Yeah. I saw you on live." I, I like, appreciate I that bravery. I yeah. see you. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, oh, wow, I can't believe she did that. And you're right. like, but it's funny. Yeah. It, and then after a while, you're like, but I didn't do much. I just, I pressed a, a, I pressed button. a button. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, that's all I did. And people are like, man, I wish I could do that. Yeah. Like, but you can, yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? yeah, you gotta get uncomfortable. You do. You know? Oh, you absolutely. And I feel like if you're not getting uncomfortable, you're really not doing much. You're yeah. stagnant. Yeah, you're stagnant. Yeah, and if you're not making mistakes, you're not doing. I mean, I'm always making mistakes, and I was like, whoops, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that didn't go as I thought. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. You know, I'm okay. Yeah. Like I, <clears throat> before I was like, oh my god, I'm just messing up. But it's like. You have to make, that's how you're going to learn. That is, right. I call them learning gems. Yeah. You yeah. You have to mess up to be like, okay. And of course it's a, a, all the perspective. Right. Are you going to look at this and say, oh my gosh, I'm a loser. I right. can't believe I did this. I guess I should just quit on life. Because <laughs> there are people that think that way, right? right. <laughs> but it's like, that is, that's definitely a perspective that you yeah. are absolutely welcome to have. Mm -hmm. But it's you're changing. only hurting yourself yeah. if you do yeah. that. Whereas on the flip side, it's like, okay, what did I learn from this? Mm -hmm. How can I change this mm -hmm. to work in my favor mm -hmm. so that I see the results that I want to see? Right. You know, and it's all perspective. And right. it's your, it's completely your choice. Right. And that is one of the reasons why I'm still here. Because, I mean, I failed so much. And I was like, okay, something good will come out of this. You know, and I just kept going and going failed again, kept going and going. But yeah, there was a lot of times where I was like, I'm done. I just want to give up. 
but it's it's a process and, so, and mindset i mean truly right. it is mindset mm -hmm. yeah and that's something i i always tell christina that i work on my mind with every four morning, kids business every and having all of this you have to because you're like just being split like and it's yeah. it could get rough so working on your mind and that's one of the things I do in the mornings, because it's like before I start my day, mm -hmm. I want to just make sure like, hey, you know, I got the mind right and everything. Yeah. Then the challenges start to come. Mm -hmm. So then you, you're ready. I feel like, OK, it's not that big of a deal. There's a solution to every problem. So 100 mm -hmm. percent. Mm -hmm. And I think it's real important to start your day off with something audible. But that is actually positive, not, you know, like. The bitch in the hood. Well, the, the news. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, it started off kind of like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or even the news. The news, the sometimes news are you're not the prepared worst. for it, you know. Um, it's just a lot of stuff that's out there that you don't, like I said, you don't want to absorb that. So I think absorbing something positive in the morning can kind of just brush off, you know, mm -hmm. everything throughout the day mm -hmm. that bothered you because mm -hmm. that first voice you heard was something positive. So I think mm -hmm. that's important. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Changes the trajectory of your day. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, for sure. So tell us, Erica, I mean, what do you do for these business owners that you're working with? And what are the different strategies that you're working with? Um, so my main focus is positioning you as an expert mm -hmm. with digital marketing, specifically social media, starting mm -hmm. there, because that is the top of the sales funnel. I always talk about the sales funnel. Mm -hmm. Top of sales funnel is brand awareness. People need to know that you even exist exactly. and that you're an option. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that literally requires you putting yourself out there. And right. it is uncomfortable for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, but I teach you how to do that so mm -hmm. that you can show up authentically so that you position yourself as someone who is experienced, someone who has a lot of knowledge because mm -hmm. we're drawn to that as well. Right. And then I teach you how to, I teach uh, <clears throat> my service based business owners mm -hmm. how to take it from the brand awareness, the conversation mm -hmm. start to going to the next layer, which is that interest phase of the sales funnel. Okay. And I do that through offering. I teach you how to do lead magnets, how to how to market lead mm -hmm. magnets, whether mm -hmm. it's like a guide or a training or um, a video that you need to watch that mm -hmm. positions you again as an expert to build like no and trust. Mm -hmm. And then after they enter that interest phase of your of your um, sales funnel, mm -hmm. how are you going to maintain that relationship? How are mm -hmm. you going to nurture? Mm -hmm. How are you going to build rapport with these people that are watching you from the sidelines? Right. And and also like understanding and just reinforcing the message mm -hmm. that this is not a get rich quick right <clears throat> like yeah. the people that do and that hit mm -hmm. it and just become multi-million yes those people are there but there's no system mm -hmm. that was followed with that right and i'm like so if you're looking for that person mm -hmm. if you're looking for someone to teach you how to make three posts and become a millionaire overnight i'm like yeah. i don't i don't even want to continue this conversation anymore right. like please go live in la la land where, <laughs> your, where your life sounds like it yeah. is but i don't i don't know I, i'm in the real world right and in the real world it takes time it mm -hmm. takes consistency mm -hmm. I'm like, if you're not posting every single day for six months at a time minimum, I'm mm -hmm. like, don't, please don't com complain to me. Right. You know? And mm -hmm. so I'm constantly teaching, like, let's be realistic here. Mm -hmm. Here is the step-by-step -step process. I promise you, if you follow it, it'll, it works. Mm -hmm. And the people, it's very interesting because I've got clients who are, I teach them how to do it. Mm -hmm. And some of them mm -hmm. are like, okay, yeah, fine. I, I'm not I sure. I, uh -huh. That's gonna be I'm me. not <laughs> sure I'm feeling good about this, but I'm going to listen. And they're right. like, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm getting called. I mean, I've got one guy that he's an attorney and we were talking a couple of weeks ago and he's like, I already doubled my revenue just mm -hmm. in a couple months that we've been working awesome. together. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh my God. And he hates social media. Yeah. He, he was like, this is so stupid. Hey, just talking about like so stupid. And I'm like, yeah. just, just, just trust me, please. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, shit, this works. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I know it does. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be teaching this, you know? And then I've got the people that I'm teaching, and they're like, oh, it sounds good in theory. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And then we meet the next week. I'm like, did you complete your homework? And they're like, no. no. I'm like, okay. Well, I just want to be mindful. I just want to remind you that you don't get to blame me because you're right. not seeing results. So that's, as long that's, as the, we're that's on the teacher side. I'm like, right. not on me. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Absolutely not. Are we right. on the same page here? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Nod your head. Yeah. yeah. Right. Anyway, so. I love it. You're like, nod your head. Yes. Nod your head. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I need you to acknowledge. Yeah. 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 And is it is it harder teaching adults? Um. You know what? I actually <laughs> like it. 
a lot. You really? No one's asking me to tie their shoes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, no one's asking me to use the restroom. <laughs> um, I'm not telling anybody to get, put your clothes back on, right. get your hands out of your pants, get your nose out of, you know, yeah. out of someone up, get your finger out of your nose. I mean, just, right. you know, um, it, it, being a teacher, it's, it is a lot of fun. Uh, being an elementary teacher, a lot of fun. And I definitely miss it. Um, mm -hmm. I have two little ones, a five and a three-year-old. So definitely yeah. other 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 friends of mine, as they watch me parent my mm -hmm. kids, are like, man, you're such a teacher. Because yeah. I'm like, okay, you have the toys. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, but no, teaching, teaching adults is a lot of fun because mm -hmm. I, I feel like a lot of, half of the time that I'm teaching adults, it's like a little mini therapy session because right. I'm like, this. let's talk about that. What yeah. do you, tell me what you mean. What, what's going through your head and mm -hmm. what fears or concerns do you have? And then we can get wow, deep right. hey, that's yeah. double right there. Marketing <laughs> and therapy. <I> know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, mindset, and yeah. that's real. I mean, it always starts with mindset. What right. makes you think that your service isn't going to be valuable to somebody else mm -hmm. who convinced you of that is it right. you or do you actually know that to be true right and so then we go through these mo it's so interesting it's it's a lot of fun mm -hmm. y'all are gonna have to replay this like <laughs> yeah. seriously like it's going by fast but you really need to replay this because this is she is the first woman on our platform oh, you yeah. know yes. she is the first and, go, <laughs> she yes. is, and, and bringing um bringing such a different content or, or such a different so, so much different information that's actually is your first step in growth right. even in wholesaling how do i post my first listing how do i present myself what do i do what do i say you know yeah that's why i was like i have to bring her in yeah here. no andrea has been telling me like uh -huh. for you know a minute and then we had everybody planned out and i was like okay we, uh, let's do this and then, mm -hmm. and and i'm so glad because yeah. it's somebody i i i've already you know had a, a business relationship with which was through noble uh -huh. and i and like i said i only remembered her not by name because she's married now but the face and the smile and the presentation is the same mm -hmm. the energy the same and she's a mama now you weren't a mama then <laughs> no I was and not. so it it's still the same energy so it's so different you know how um how how your lifestyle is different but your personality remains the same because mm -hmm. you've remained grounded Yes. You know, and you well, can't. I can thank my mom and dad for that. Well, that's good. My mom and dad are like, sit down. No, <laughs> yeah. no, no, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and people lose themselves in social media mm -hmm. because they post the best pictures, they right. post the best events, but they don't, they get lost and they can get depressed real quick with what's behind the truth and the what's mm -hmm. behind the filter. Right. And you've got to know how to balance that. And I think if you, start organically and original and start to grow yourself to know yourself i think that's a good way to start and with mm -hmm. with the right you know coaching mentorship why not yeah and i could vouch for her in that aspect because i've seen her in action with noble and then seeing her today is that same energy and most people flop out right or they content out yeah by three years Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I probably heard three less, years is yeah. a magic number. I keep yeah. hearing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. three, keep yeah. hearing. February yeah. will be my three-year business really? anniversary. No, you're mm -hmm. just gonna be okay. <laughs> oh, I will. I mean, I. You know what? And I will say this because you had talked about mm -hmm. hiring the right mentor. Mm -hmm. When I first started my business, mm -hmm. the very first thing that I did was hire a business coach. I'm there like. I need accountability. Yes. I would rather get fast track answers. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't want to spend time figuring it out because mm -hmm. time is money. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I invest. I invested in that. And then when in, I started growing pretty quickly, the very first thing that I wanted to outsource because mm -hmm. I'm a firm believer of investing in your business and outsourcing things to professionals. So the very mm -hmm. first thing that I outsourced was accounting. Right. I knew exactly who my accountant was going to be mm -hmm. once I hit that point. Am I capable of hey, doing the accounting? the IRS was going to start to notice you. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> I know, right? Um, already got me a CPA. I'm like, mm -hmm. I can do these things, but right. why would I spend three, four, five hours a week mm -hmm. because I'm a lot slower at it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> why would I do this when I can right. use those three, four, five hours doing money generating activities? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why would I not do that? Right. So, you know, I will say as I 
grew at Noble, there was only three of us, mm -hmm. right? And then it ended up being, I think they were at like 16, 18. I don't even know how mm -hmm. many people are there at this point. But I was able to watch Daryl as this incredible leader grow the company. And he was very big on, let's outsource. Right. Who can we hire to take yeah. care of this? Mm -hmm. Let's hire a business coach. Let's, mm -hmm. I mean, and I, that was my mentor. Right. You know, that was somebody mm -hmm. that I was able to watch. And mm -hmm. he was like, okay, we need to outsource it. We need to hire another person to take care of this. That's what else? Awesome. And I was yeah. like, wow. Okay. And it, mm -hmm. it was, that was very uh, it was great to have a front row seat to watch a, a to front watch row that. seat mm -hmm. to watch a business grow from the ground up. Right. So I knew that when I wanted to start my business, that was my main same mindset: get mm -hmm. a business coach, outsource where you need it, mm -hmm. leave the things that you're not comfortable with to the professionals, mm -hmm. and keep growing and figuring out your time is best spent generating more income. What mm -hmm. does that look like? And it right. certainly ain't balancing my books, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? That's exactly yeah. right. That's yeah. what she just said is exactly yeah. how it's supposed to be. Yeah. You know, you get a mentor mm -hmm. because that's what I did. You know, I got a mentor, started to do outsourcing mm -hmm. and just do whatever you're really good at. Yeah. You know, she's always training. Yes, always I'm training, always, always I just hired a, a coach as well, you yeah. know, because I'm like, you you just have to like you mm -hmm. said fast track and this right. that I want to ask time is money now yeah. no? time mm -hmm. is money mm -hmm. yeah and I can tell you one thing because um, we have our marketing team at I have Martin's Hardware so since I have Martin's Hardware you know I have my marketing team and sometimes they fall on fall off and it's um and we've been we just recently talked about outsourcing yeah. and Good. bringing someone in why because you keep that person out of the bad filtration and they don't filter through those yeah. things that are going those those what's slowing you down right you know and they don't get the feedback from those so when you bring in a company like yourself they're just telling them what to do mm -hmm. did you do your homework and then we know who to how to go about the right. reprimand you know mm -hmm. it's different right so i think it's very important with what you know you offer because um like I said, having a business, I can't train them to be me. Correct. So you have to find somebody <clears throat> that is has the energy, like minded, and can and you see it from afar. You're on, girl. So I mean, you see it from afar. <laughs> so the thing is, is that you know, you, when you find it, you need to grab it. Mm -hmm. You know, if people go to church every Sunday to be refilled with you know the spirit of glory of God and everything else to kind of. She's you know, filled with the Holy that. Spirit all the time. Yeah, <laughs> she's, filled, she's filled with the marketing spirit. Okay, yeah. so you need that. So that's what you need to look at it like. If I go to church every Sunday, you know, to get, you know, re-energized, you need to get some type of training and coaching or mm -hmm. some type of environment to go to to get re-energized in what you're, where you want to be because. 100%. Yeah, you can't go hang out with the guys drinking a beer at the corner store and think that you're going to be the greatest marketing person mm -hmm. because no. you just took 5% of your, you know, your. Um, the energy the that energy. is meant for the business. And yeah. For, and, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you just yeah. wash it down. Oh, surrounding time. yourself with positive people yes. that are like minded. Yep. Incredibly mm -hmm. important. I remember my aunt used to tell me, I'll know everything about you if you just show me who your friends are. Yeah, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Because birds of a feather flock together. Flock together. And I am very thankful and blessed mm -hmm. that a lot of the people that I surround myself with yeah. and a lot of the people that I've gravitated to that are now like my actual friends, right. all of them are business owners. Mm -hmm. And we like mm -hmm. to sit down and talk about yeah. businesses and motivate yeah. each other. And we're like, you exactly. got this. You're kicking ass and taking it. It's awesome. That's why I hired her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I need her in my team. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And she's been doing, we had our, our first session last, well, this week mm -hmm. and it was good. I'm like, it was, it's a total different marketing. Like yeah. cause I'm used to doing like the wholesale marketing mm -hmm. and this is like different. And I'm just yeah. like, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and in, in, uh, in the industry of real estate, you have different things. Cause when you're talking to mortgage people, that's a whole nother lingo. And when you're talking to wholesalers, that's a different lingo oh, yeah. and realtors have a whole oh, different yeah. lingo. So you got to kind of dabble in it all to kind of fit in where you want to be. And, you know, in that industry, in, in the real estate industry, you do have to chameleonize yourself because you've got to put on your, you know, your landlord hat, your wholesale hat, and, and you just have to know how to relate. Mm -hmm. I think you have to be relatable and you have to open a door to just be relatable. That's exactly you know, right. It's not really chameleonizing yourself. You have to be relatable. You well, know? and that starts with just being authentic. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because a lot of people will tell you, oh, no, just fake it till you make it. They're going to no, find you out. you can tell that they're fake. They're going to find out. And when they do, you are going to be labeled a liar or a fake. <laughs> and, and that's that your whole brand, too. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like what you are is everything else around you. Right. So, mm -hmm. And, you know, one of the things with marketing that I really love is to that you could do that and apply that in every business. It's yep. not just oh, real estate. You do it yeah. once you have it down. Right. You could apply it in any business. Mm -hmm. You know. So true. And yeah. that is like the engine of every business. Right. You know. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's why I was like, okay, I have to hire her. Mm -hmm. I really love like the way she is mm -hmm. and the way you know she kind of like. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah. awesome you because yeah. you know you're just like when you see her, you you put a smile in your face because mm -hmm. you just can't help but to smile. Oh, yeah. guys. Well, what so, it is, it's contagious. It's contagious. <laughs> You know, it's contagious because when you're when you're hanging around with somebody that just dumps all their problems on you, oh, it's yeah. like shit. Or you're you like know? look at them, you're like, oh man, I don't even want to go around. Like, I just left this shit at home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I I go and pour it all on my poor mom and my grandma. I like, oh. <laughs> you know, but the thing is, is that when you have somebody that's always pouring that on you. It's, it's hard to get to what the conversation didn't even go where it was supposed to. We were supposed to have a lunch and meet up and talk about something. We ended up talking about kids and like on all the problems, you know, you got to know how to turn it off and it's okay to tell people, Hey, let's, let's not talk about that right now. Let's, let's get back on what we want, what we were here for. You, you have to, I've learned mm -hmm. to do that and not be rude about it. Well, but and just being intentional with your time. That right. there, right there. Being because time is time. money, especially as go. a business owner. Yeah. And time is time because, gosh, we have to go home, wash clothes, cook, do this, do that. And imagine, you know, I'm just here like, you know, and, and, it's, and it's true. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You have to be intentional with your time. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things that I do is like whenever I'm like doing laundry and washing dishes, <laughs> Mm -hmm. I just listen to like audiobooks because yeah. I'm learning as I'm doing this. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people are like, hey, I don't have time, you know, because yeah. they're kids. Hey, there's ways to figure but it out. But in the yeah. car, <laughs> Andrea will boom, boom, boom your ear ass off. Are <laughs> oh, you listening like, music in the car? Well, whatever. Well, like, there's, sometimes we talk and yeah. then we're not talking. Yeah, I'm like, she'll turn on the radio. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, have I to do like, because I'm like vibing. Be like really? You know, I want to like, yeah, you know, I don't. I start. My foot gets heavier if I start listening to heavy like, music. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Wait, I'm gonna get there. You know, so I, I hey, I'm in the car. Everybody, get your roll yeah. on. <laughs> no, it used to be me, and I had to stop because my husband would say, "Damn, like your foot gets heavy when you know." Oh, you that's know? funny. Yeah, oh, that that's me in the morning with the kids. Yeah, we're all like, "Hey," <laughs> but it's like a way to kind of get your yeah, body going. Get, sure. get the jolt. Yeah, yeah, but. Same thing. Same yeah, thing. but you gotta know. We, I think we've all learned how to, how to, um, how to. I don't know. Like, I guess know when, when, and how to use our time. You know, I guess. I mean, it's coming out. It's there. It's just not. It's just a fog. <laughs> but uh, it's so much. You know, your information is so clear and so vivid. I mean, you can see your your picture past your conversation, mm -hmm. and that's really good if you can visualize listening to her talk and you can visualize exactly where you are because she is expressing the knowledge and the ABCs to everything. It's that right. teacher mentality. It is. It You're really is. the ABC. And so, you know, it's like most people say you can't read it's because it starts with phonics. If you haven't had the phonics, then there's no way you're going to read. Foundational. It's all the yep. foundation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. And that's also kind of why I'm so grateful that I studied education and mm -hmm. studied how you piece things together. And I think I, my, my natural spiritual gift is teaching. Right. I've always been a teacher at heart. I'm, I'm very eloquent with my words. I mm -hmm. explain she things is. very, yeah. very well. Right. And now that I'm teaching marketing, it's like I have a curriculum. Mm -hmm. I make sure that I put it go. in a way. <laughs> yes, where is that? Yep. I make sure I put it in a way that's comprehensible because uh -huh. if it's not comprehensible, you're not going to execute it. Nope. So I'm like, if I can teach a first grader to write a paper, yeah. I can teach you how to write a social media post. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of the same like tools and right. strategies that I use with first graders, it's it's really the same thing. Right. Yeah. You know, right. it's just nobody's asking me to I type. Love you. It. I love <laughs> it. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Do you have seminars or is it just one on one? So I do one of my lead magnets is mm -hmm. one hour trainings. Okay. And I my target audience mm -hmm. is real estate agents. Okay. And even though I help any service-based provider, mm -hmm. 
my target is real estate because that then gets me in the door a lot right. quicker and defining your target audience huge. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I like preach that. I'm like, right. do not say anybody and everybody. Right. I'm like, no, because it's not an correct answer and that's detrimental to yourself. Mm -hmm. So anyway, real estate agents are my target audience and I teach one hour CE classes for them awesome. that are like basically the what is marketing, mm -hmm. the, the why in right. marketing. And then if you want to work with me, I'll mm -hmm. teach you the how. Okay. And so um, I've got four different classes that I teach that are around marketing and social media. Mm -hmm. And then that just brands myself. Now, not mm -hmm. every single person is like, yes, I want to sign up. They're like, right. yeah, that's interesting in theory. but mm -hmm. Or I, I'm only here because I need the CE credit. Right. But I'm like, I'm okay with that because yeah. you now know who I am. There mm -hmm. is five more people in this room that didn't know I existed about right. an hour ago. And mm -hmm. now all of a sudden that you do. And you're either going to think about whether or not you want to use me as as your marketing coach, mm -hmm. or you're going to tell your husband when you get home who owns a roofing company, mm -hmm. excuse me, that you need marketing, or right. you're going to let your, your sister who's brand new to real estate know, right. oh my gosh, this girl, she's mm -hmm. going to give you the fast track of getting yeah, results. Go, the fast so that's track. why I hired her right away. I was, yeah. when you see something good, I was yeah. like, oh yeah, she definitely <laughs> yeah. has to be. The energy. Yeah. The energy. Well, you could just, I can, when you, when I see somebody that's really good at what mm -hmm. they do, I can see it. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, yes, I'll go with that person. Yeah. I'm not going to think about it because I've worked with people that are like, oh my God. So when I see it, it's kind of like when you're in a bad relationship and you see a good man, you're like, I know there's a good man. <laughs> I can take him home and take, take him, him a bath, right out. cut his hair, make yeah. him look good, and you will be for me. <laughs> So, yeah, so it was something like that. I was like, oh, for sure, I need yeah. to hire her. Like, mm -hmm. she's exactly what I need. So, well, I appreciate that because over my 10 years of being in marketing, mm -hmm. I mean, I've really, I've grown the confidence to be like, I am damn good at what I do. Yeah. I yeah, really am. Mm -hmm. And I've, now that I've been working with clients and they're seeing results, I'm like, oh, yes, I am. Yeah. I knew that I'm like really good. Now I'm like, Damn good, you know. I'm the best. <laughs> and then, and then there's my mom and the dad. Mom and dad in the background. So yeah, sit down. <laughs> I'm like, okay. No, but no. No, but you are. Energy. You really are. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, your energy. I will tell you for fact because you know I put everybody out there on blast so bad. <laughs> but her energy from years ago to today is the same. So you have been able to put yourself in different areas and you're still the same. I appreciate So you've that. been unique, you've been authentic. And like I said, she has a contagious personality and mm -hmm. that's what you want. You want to absorb those type of people right. because there's a lot of people. And I say this, you know, with kids, I know you've dealt with kids and I had daycare. So coming in there, it's like, you already know for every one person, you're dealing with five personalities, grandma, grandpa, brother, sister, whoever, whoever, whoever. Mm -hmm. So those little people are, are they, they have different little personalities and then they have to grow. So in adults with us, we already know our personalities. We really truly know our flaws. We know when we go off wrong. And sometimes you need to learn that it's okay to be happy, smiling, you know, proud of what you do. It's so important to be proud and believe in what you do because how can I sell you something when I don't believe in my own product? Right. Oh, for mm -hmm. sure. How can I sell myself if I don't believe in myself? Mm -hmm. So a person like her who can coach you through that, maybe getting over a hurdle, maybe somebody burns you or whatever it is. Maybe you just need to put your, you know, all your little pieces of your puzzles in place to, mm -hmm. to complete your pretty picture. And I think, I think you could really deliver that. Yeah. I, I know she could deliver that. I really yeah. do. Well, one well, of the thank things you. too is your confidence. People mm -hmm. are, are attracted to your confidence. Yeah. So whenever you're speaking and saying that they feel like, wow, this girl's really confident mm -hmm. about, you know, one time I was paying a ticket, mm -hmm. uh, just a ticket. It was a, a parking ticket, but I walked in and the guy was like, you walked in so much confidence. And I'm thinking like, <laughs> okay, I don't want to be confident about paying this ticket, <laughs> yeah. but, but they could feel it. I've had somebody yeah. tell me, I felt your feel. energy enter the room. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And and that's one of the things that you want people to feel whenever they're around you. So mm -hmm. like, I know a lot of people are like, no, I'm shy. I don't need to do that. You need to do that yeah. because when people do business with you, they want to feel that confidence. Like, right. like I want to make sure that I am in good hands next mm -hmm. to you, you yes. know, that working with you, doing right. business with you. Right. I don't mm -hmm. want to be like, well, you know, this. But that. also, but also not to be confused with you need to be this person that's mm -hmm. like front and center and you're bubbly and dancing right. and making yeah. everybody laugh. No. Like that's my personality. That is me too. And <laughs> some people are drawn to that. And you know what? Some people are repelled by that. They're like, yes. Oh, 
yeah. too much. This yeah. is too much. And I'm yeah. like, you know what? I, that's okay. Yeah. Because I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea. Right. But, the but you have bad taste anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, that happened. I took somebody to a presenter and that was a person that was presenting a, an REI thing. And her laugh just totally threw them off. They said, that laugh sounds so evil. I can't trust it. <gasps> oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, and wow. Oh, God. No, it was like, ah, ha, ha. They were like, ah, ha, ha, ha. I was like, oh, shit. I said, well, I'm sorry. You know, can I send you somewhere else? I know somebody's great. And then uh, I sent oh, them somewhere God. else. And they were so, like, mm-mm. Interesting. It turned them off. It was her little group. And she did not want her... Um, her people trained by that person yeah wow. i was like shit like i didn't ever i never noticed it i yeah, guess because yeah, yeah. i knew her uh-huh. and i was like oh well she just laughs like that <laughs> i'm drawn to yeah, her laugh well, you know, yeah. it goes back to your stuff is not everybody's cup of tea and you know what right. that is it's okay. perfectly okay yeah so being confident though in i think your product your service right, your business sure. that is what people are drawn to and attached to it's like you don't mm-hmm. have to be this bubbly sunshine you know yeah. personality mm-hmm. just be you. Yeah. Be be you, mm-hmm. but be confident in the you that you are. There you of go. Of course. Yeah. Right yeah. That is, that's exactly right. Because whatever is you, just be confident, you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So there we go. Yeah. Well, guys. Well, before we do end it, do you have any, you know, tips, you know, for the people out there that are maybe starting or kind of like, hey, this is a good way to start? To Hire me. No. <laughs> Yes, I vouch. I vouch. I'm, I haven't hired her yet, but I vouch. And I'm glad um, you came and I was able to meet you personally because when she was telling me your name, I was like, oh, you know, there's because there's a lot of people out there that are trying to brand themselves or they say they brand you or they can this and they can that, but their energy is so depleted. Oh, uh, yes, I know what you mean. You know, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, being with, when I walked in the room and I saw her face and it was like, and the energy was the same and, and the chipper bubbly attitude, it gets you in a good mood. Yeah. yeah. You know, I didn't walk in, um, you know, every woman I tell her has those little cat hairs in their back. You know, I, this, she's the first female on here. <laughs> this is a female panel now, you know, yeah, and awesome. it felt good. You know, most, most women try to outdo the other woman and that's yeah. not how it should ever be. No. You know, she had, I always say, Andrea's the millennial side of the questions and I'm the old one. Yeah, I'm the OG on it because I'm coming from another realm and she's coming from the new realm. So, you know, when you're putting the old and the new together, you know, that's how we all bring everybody together to learn. But somebody who can actually teach with your energy, I think you're going to you're going to have a lot of people out there doing better things. Well, I appreciate that. Better but things. actually to give advice, to answer your question. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Understand that branding yourself is a process. Right. It is a process and it's probably very uncomfortable at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Probably very uncomfortable. But in order for you to see the results that you're trying to look for, which at very beginning is brand. Right. People need to know, like <clears throat> when I first started my marketing business and I started, I knew exactly what I needed to do to mm-hmm. start marketing myself. Right. But it took months before people were like, oh, you left Noble? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. oh, yes, I did. Yeah. A year ago, actually. Oh my God, that is funny. <laughs> I left a year ago. You know what yeah. I mean? But I but I didn't take offense to it because I understand how marketing works. Right. And they had to reprogram their brains to be mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, she's not the little noble singing girl anymore. <laughs> Honestly. That does honestly, karaoke all the time. I, know, like, yeah. <laughs> I would literally mm-hmm. sing it like every networking event. I remember. I remember. <laughs> I would sing like a little noble rap or something like that. I don't know. It was ridiculous. <laughs> um, but I it remember took, you. Okay. It took time and just not giving up and being consistent about I knew what my end goal was, and that mm-hmm. was to let people know that I am now a marketing coach and consultant. Mm-hmm. I know that I am good at this, right. and I know exactly how to do it. And it just starts with just showing up right. as the marketing expert, mm-hmm. sharing stories, sharing opinions, sharing lessons and experiences, mm-hmm. sharing success stories that I've seen and have experienced for either Noble or other people that I've coached over the years <clears throat> or myself, yeah. and just sharing that journey and, and just being authentic right. and being so consistent. I can't tell you how many nights I would wake up at like two, three o'clock in the morning and I'd be like, 
why did I do this? Aww. Why did I do this to I'm myself? Like that before at night oh, sometimes. Oh, <laughs> oh. But then I would I would call my people the next morning and be like, yeah. I am so stressed. <laughs> like, you got this. And I'm like, yeah, yeah you got this. <laughs> so if you're first starting out, just show up. Right. Start showing up minimum five times a week, every week for at least six months. Mm -hmm. And I promise you, a lot of things are up. going yeah. to naturally and organically evolve in your favor. Right. I promise you, mm -hmm. but you got to show up. You have right. to show up and change the narrative about who you are and what you're about now. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I will be showing up <laughs> <laughs> next week. You'll see me showing up. Yeah. <laughs> And I'll be calling her soon. Yeah. <laughs> no, I really appreciate you coming by because I know she was on a short time. We usually go off and blurt the whole time. But uh, we do. We keep people in the hot seat until it's sweaty. Like, yeah, you got to stay there. But um, but no, I really appreciate you coming Thank in. You. I appreciate you having me. And Thank seeing you, so you again. Much. Yes, seeing you again I know. The same Years thing. ago. I See, this why you not <laughs> I knew that's when I got burned in. And she does a lot. Like, she yeah. has a lot of companies. Yeah. So, there you go. You. Hey, so thank you. No, no, you're welcome. I, mean, you're welcome. I will say, I'm, I'm a words of affirmation. That words of affirmation uh -huh. is my love language. Right. And just like sitting in this seat and hearing you guys like shower me with words. I'm like, and <laughs> then what else? Tell me more. Go on. <laughs> no, stop. No, but really go on. Yeah. I'm going to like rewatch this video and put myself to sleep through all the right. words. <laughs> all the words that were like, You're yeah, she's awesome. awesome. Yeah. She is awesome. Her so you really are smile. though. You she's really timeless. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Yeah. She has beautiful skin. Yeah. Yeah. And there you go. Beautiful skin. <laughs> no, but seriously, your personality, your personality is so contagious. It's like, you know, you, you want that, you oh, crave that. And you. you crave that in everybody. So if you guys can go and learn some of it, Take it in, really take it in, because yeah. some of you ha are so skilled in what you do, mm -hmm. but you lack the experience or the knowledge of how to bring it forward. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I just watch people and some people may, like you say, may not like what you say and, you know, thumbs up, finger to you, doesn't matter. But thumbs sometimes up. you got to know how to be the stronger person and say, hey. <laughs> You know, I am what I am. Right. You know, I am what I am. And if you like this it, this is what I not, am. Yeah. Scroll, yeah. And that's know? one of the things when we first started, like, we're like, oh my God, we kind of just, just winged it. We're mm -hmm. like, you know, because we're both busy. So we sit there and we're like, oh, we could do this. Oh, we could do that. Like, let's just get out there and yeah. see what happens, you right. know? And, and we've already, this is our, what, our eighth? No, 10th? 13th. Oh my God, 13th, 13th and yeah. we did it 13 times. 13 Good for times. Us. Yeah, that's um, awesome. So, but yeah, it's just taking action, you right. know, because if we would have really sat there and said, we need to do this and figure this out, yeah. we would have probably not even been started because yep. we, we waited no. a long time. Done is better than perfect. Get on. Yeah, yes, I like let's that. just go for it. Mm -hmm. I think the first one, you and I did it by ourselves. We're like, well, this is what we're bringing to you. And we just, hee, hee, hee. it's us. Yeah, Hello, it's, it's us. us. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> and then as we've gone, it's gotten better and um, we're more comfortable and, you know, people do call. I mean, we've gotten deals. Mm -hmm. I've gotten four deals from some of the people that have come here. You know? yeah. So it's like, and it's because we can work together right. to fill them what they want, what they know. What they like. There you go. Right there. I see the better, better word, better word. Y'all need to pick up on these words. Rewind. Right. Rewind. I am going to go rewind. I'm like, yeah. okay, okay, that okay, was synergy. the big word. That was, yeah, you're into it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Next time I have a conversation, I'm going to throw the big words. Yeah, <laughs> she's contagious. You know what? I do the same thing with my children. I use big, big words with my kids. Really? Um, but because it's that's going to improve vocabulary. It is. It is. They're going to know how to really respond to it. They do. Know? That's awesome. To, especially to people that are trying yeah. to overdo themselves sometimes. In little layman's terms, yeah. So they can nice. hit them with that intellect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I really enjoyed today. Yeah, thank you guys, good. so much for having me. Yeah, yes, I'm like, America. I can, I can continue talking about all of these. Things. Girl, I've been taking. I'm like, where was our margarita though? Like, <laughs> I know, right? You know, I always we said once. we should have a podcast like somewhere <laughs> out there, maybe by the beach. <laughs> maybe we'll do that. Maybe, and then have a margarita, we'll and let's just have fun with it. I know. Yeah. Maybe that's my next podcast idea: marketing yeah. and margaritas. Yeah, oh, there okay, you go. There Invite you go. me to it. <laughs> we did that. What, no, we didn't have a margarita. We had a shot. 
Yeah, we did. Oh my god, we were all sweating. But we were sweating. It was bad. <laughs> we were just didn't turn out what we thought. Sweating, and I was like, <laughs> I know her makeup was like. I looked like her. a raccoon. It was so funny, but it was like, oh, I can't well, believe how hot that shot made. It was, made us hot. We it was like we're burning what inside. Was it? Tito's. Oh shit! I don't even know. Tito's, like I we're all on fire. I was. My cheeks were red. I'm like, geez, it was just one shot. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty bad. Never take a shot at a Tito, especially no. if you're on a date. You're going to be sweating. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you'll end up looking oh, like a raccoon. <laughs> anyway. But you guys, okay, Erica, where can they contact you if they need you? You can go to my website, ericasoba.com, E-R-I-C-A-S-O-B-B-A.com, mm -hmm. or just call me, text me, 832-339-7050. Mm -hmm. There you go. You could use her as a commercial, too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, guys, thank you so much. All right, much thank you today. so much. Everybody's good. Yeah.